I'm setting up a hosting account for WordPress with SiteGround. Currently, SiteGround is my favorite hosting company. They have the best customer support. I've tested out many other companies. I've worked with a few others, which were great for a while. And then when I actually needed their help, they failed me in providing support in a timely manner. Basically, I ended up having like a couple sites down for multiple days and just really had a hard time getting hold of real tech support that could actually help me like admins, tech people. So with SiteGround, you know, immediately I was able to see that they were much different. So you could chat with them and basically get a reply instantly. And these aren't just tech support people. These are actually like admins that can log onto your server and check on your issue. So it's a really big deal. Most hosting is is basically <laughs> like the same until you need help. And then the support is really when it comes through. So that said, I'm going to just go through it real quick here. This is going to be one of those quick videos. So basically for most people, if you're just starting out, this shared web hosting is going to be fine. Cloud hosting is, you know, for higher traffic enterprises, of course, is for an enterprise type solution, but this shared web hosting is going to be fine. There's three versions and they give you a, you know, a tip how much traffic you might expect to be able to handle on a server, probably assuming you just have like one site on there or you know maybe two. But I know for this site that I'm going to be starting, it's going to be for a podcast. You'll see the name of it in a second. It's not going to be a ton of traffic early on and I can just upgrade later. So we'll click on get started. I already have a domain and I'll just paste it in there. Survive the nine to five and then I'm going to proceed here. So I'm going to enter in some critical information really quick, filled in my billing information, my address, all that critical stuff, and then scroll down. And this is where I'm at here. So you can get like a one month trial and it's $3.95. And then you have a $14 setup fee, at least at the time that I'm recording this, or you could pay in advance, you know, a certain amount of time. And if you pay in advance, you get a little discount, right? So I'm just going to do the 12 months because I renew it later. And that is fine. I'm going to get the site scanner. I do appreciate the daily scans and it notifies you if you've been hacked or if you have some sort of malware or something like that. I haven't had any issues, but this is slightly helpful. Perhaps I'm overpaying for it, but they do a good job so far. You know, I don't want to get extra emails, not my style. So I'm just going to go ahead and pay now. We should be good to go. And it just takes a second here. My order was submitted and my account is being created. So then I'll be able to log in and all that stuff. So it was created, proceed to customer area. And I want to start a new website. It's going to be WordPress. I don't need any other software on there, but if you were interested in that, you can do it. I'm gonna enter some more information in here really quickly. You put in your username, your email address, and the password that you want WordPress set up with, and then you click confirm. And you gotta check this, so it's good to go. So we're requesting to have WordPress installed on the account, and I'll just click complete setup, and it should happen pretty quick here. When you first set up your hosting account, a lot of times you'll have like a temporary URL to log into because the DNS isn't set up yet. All the DNS has to propagate across the world and all these different servers. I usually have my hosting separate from my domain names and I have my domains over on Namecheap over here. It's just where I have all my domains. So I'm gonna to proceed to the customer area. So I'm over here on the cPanel and I'm gonna go over to the Let's Encrypt security area. It's free, right? So I'm just gonna say Let's Encrypt SSL and install. Should be good to go. So with SiteGround, the SSL is free. I think most hosting companies will include the SSL in general anyway. Okay, so we're good to go there. Active and um, I'm not sure what else we need to do here. So I'm just gonna leave it as is for now. So hopefully I can uh, like show you the, the fresh install of WordPress in just a second little glitch basically my dns takes a little while to update so i mean that that's across the board i think it's like 72 hours for the dns to propagate however um typically you'd get like a some sort of a temp url i've seen that on a lot of other domains that i've worked on and basically i didn't see one in the email so right away you get about three or four emails from siteground setting up your account one's like a invoice confirmation but since i didn't see 
see the temp URL, I was like, hey, I'm just gonna hop on the chat and see what's up. So that is the chat over here in the background. And basically um, they're setting up temp URL and hopefully I'll be able to log in and show you the fresh WordPress install right after that. And we're back. As you can see, I am on the WordPress dashboard. It took about 10 minutes or so for the tech support to create the temp URL for me. So it just took a second. Most of it was me just chatting and just waiting for a second. So now we're good to go. And as you can see, it's a totally fresh WordPress install here. And that is it. So we can see the homepage here. And this is just like the, the default install here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a theme on it and get rolling with it. And basically that's all you gotta to do to set up a WordPress hosting account with SiteGround.